hai hai welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll visit some beautiful museums in lisbon and without any further ado let's get started hello welcome to another sightseeing vlog i'm selfie i'm from indonesia and have been living in portugal for almost a year now with my husband Every two weeks, I share my travel experience on my YouTube channel. So if you want to follow my adventures, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you! Today, my friend Ina has a day off. So we decided to visit the Tile, the National Tile Museum in Lisbon together. It is famous for the art of the Portuguese tiles, which is known as az azu azulejos. <laughs> I don't think I pronounced it right. This time, Matt will not join us to explore the Tile Museum because he needs to run some errands. He'll drop me off and I'll meet Ina there. Even though the museum is a bit far from the city center, a lot of people say that it is worth a visit. It has an impressive collection of tiles and small gorgeous chapel, which we'll see very soon. Wow, we have arrived. Not too many people today. Yeah. Hi again. Hi. We Hi. meet Ina again today. Tile art is a common feature throughout the Mediterranean, but only Lisbon has a museum exclusively dedicated to it. The museum is housed in the building of the former Madre de Deus convent. The site was chosen because the convent was famous for its stunning displays of azulezu. Is that a rabbit? It was in the time of King de Manuel I that tiles were introduced to Portugal. They were in fact imported from Seville after the king's visit to Spain. It is said that he fell in love with the tiles and had to bring some back to Portugal to decorate his palace walls, the National Palace of Sintra. Following the trend set by the king, tiles became a constant feature for the interiors and exteriors of churches, palaces, schools, and houses all over Portugal. Fun fact about tiles, they are not only beautiful on the outside of the buildings, but they also keep the inside cooler during the summer. I thought museums were boring, but ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, not this one. This one is fascinating. We spent almost two hours exploring the museum without getting bored at all. We were too busy taking pictures and we lost track of time. It is so sad because we missed the chapel.
the last room of this museum is dedicated to a long panel of tiles which illustrates Lisbon before the 1755 earthquake. On these tiles, you can see monuments that no longer exist and others that you may still visit. Wow, so this was um, Bellum Tower long time ago and then uh, we got Geronimos there. Hello, now we are at Palacio Nacional da Ajuda and this time I'll explore the museum with Matt again. <laughs> Let's go! This neoclassical palace may look like a normal big building from the outside, but just wait until you see the inside. Wow, look at those gorgeous sculptures. What a magnificent place. This palace was the 19th century residence of the Portuguese royal family. Now it is a museum of decorative arts. There is so much to see, and through different rooms, we will enjoy the splendor that surrounded the royal family and their life here. The interior is absolutely amazing. The drapes, the detailed wallpaper, the decorated ceilings, the furniture, the numerous paintings, the wooden floor, and even small details like the door handles make this palace a true national treasure. Everything is very well maintained and the explanations are all written in English as well. Excellent! This museum is located not far from the Geronimus Monastery and it is not crowded like the other touristic places in Lisbon. If you guys are into history, I think you will love this palace. We spent around an hour and a half exploring the whole place. What I love most about this museum are the paintings. They are extremely gorgeous, especially the ones on the ceilings. Okay, let's continue to the next site, which is located in the city center. It is called as Carmo Convent. It is a ruined Gothic church destroyed by an earthquake in the 1755. Nowadays, it is used as an archaeological museum. Wow, such a beautiful view we have here. At the 
time of the earthquake, this place was the largest church in Lisbon. But today, the roofless nave open to the sky is all that remains of the arches and rubble that caved in on the congregation as they were attending Mass. There are some collection of tombs, mummies, statues, ceramics, and mosaics in this museum. There is also a small theater where you can watch a video of the history of this place. It's a small site, but it's worth a quick visit when you are in Lisbon. And that's it for today, guys. In the next Satsing vlog, I'll take you to visit some famous sites along the Tagus River in Lisbon by bicycle. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.